Jabroni, J-A-B-R-O-N-I, X-Y-Z, A-B-C. Oh, it doesn't matter how you spell Jabroni. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Jabronis, presented by Bodyslam.net. I am, unfortunately, your former two-time <laughs> Jabroni World Champion, Topher <laughs> McCann, joined with the new Jabroni World Champion, <laughs> WWE Hall of Famer, Kane. <laughs> You're jabroni. You're a jabroni. We've, I mean, we've had a week gap because we, we couldn't have you on last week because we were, we were, you know, in Scoopville. Oh, uh, I had, had the scoops away. Had the business to take care of uh, in Knox County anyway. I'm so it worked out. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, How's it been? I mean, two weeks of jabroni uh, world champion. It's, um, well, first off, you know, uh, this guy has me on serious lockdown. I was able to get away for a little bit, but like he wanted me to like live here and stuff, which is weird because he's got like a wife and he's got a kid. He may have just heard her. I don't know. I heard a big fat bump, like bang, but like she wants me to do things with her. I'm like, dude, I'm not too comfortable with that. So like, I don't know where he's at. Like he left, he's gone. So it's been weird living in the house. It's kind of a loser, but, uh, no, it's been fine. It's been fine. You know, I had to I had to take care of some things in Knox County. You know, I'm um, getting a lot of heat. I mean, go figure, right? Kane getting heat. Huh? I saw. But, um, I saw. I like that too. Yes, but you are getting a lot yes, of uh, a lot of heat. Um, uh, no comment though. No comment though. Uh, just uh, I'm just here to fulfill my duties until you know eventually someone takes it from me. That's 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 all this is. And we're building towards another title defense. At SummerSlam, cards slowly forming together. We'll see what happens. Illegally, but yeah. Yeah, illegally it's forming together, but yeah. No, I get you. It's definitely illegally. Very illegal things happening. So do you have time to stick around and uh, and talk talk some wrestling, or do you have other... That's what I'm here for. I'm here to gloat, and I'm here to... Uh, to I'm, basic, I'm basically your new co-host for the foreseeable future. All right, so, Mr. Butler, all all the well. I hope I see you soon, but I think I got it here with gl me and Glenn. Me and Glenn hanging out. Oh, you don't need to use my real name. Oh, sorry. I, I'm just because I feel like we're becoming so friendly that I'm well, just. Well, I'm in a much better mood now. You know, I mean, last time I saw you, I was I had to get my game face on. Um, also, you know, it's been real weird. So. I use uh, uh, Facebook also, and I had posted a bunch of pictures of me. Oh, I sent them to you, actually, posing. And uh, they took the Facebook down, and uh, because it was associated to uh, your your partner, he had to create a whole new one, too. So that's another thing. Pretty weird. I didn't know that was the reasoning behind it. I, he's calling it the reasoning. He doesn't know for a fact, but he's calling it the reasoning. I mean, it makes sense. I one yeah, more no, thing make before, we get, before we get started, I have to ask you a question. Yeah, uh, yeah. The hair is beautiful. How do, you, how do you make it so shiny, silky, and smooth? Well, firstly, I, when I'm in the shower, I squirt the whole shampoo bottle on my head. I don't put it in my hand. Okay, I put the whole shampoo bottle in my head and then, uh, you know, just condition for like an hour or so, and then you're good. An hour. All right. Yes. One hour. One hour of just squirting shampoo and conditioner in your head. 30 minutes squirt, 30 minutes uh, rubbing. All right. I got a mental note now. I just needed to know that. Um, I don't know if you saw last week, Kane, but we were, uh, we had uh, Cassidy Haynes on. Yes. Owner of BodySlam.net. We saw him. He was talking some, talking some stuff with us and we kind of, didn't really talk much, I feel, about what's going on recently. I don't know if this is in your, if you're allowed to. I don't know if you, but I was going to maybe talk a little AW. Whoa. Uh, I don't no. know if you want to maybe. Uh, 
I'm gonna leave it up to you. Maybe we can. No, see yeah, you. I, I, you know, I'm not necessarily in a contract with the other guys, so um, I can talk about whatever. You know, I'm, I'm just, I'm just king. I'm just king. I'm just king. I'm not king from WWE. You know, I'm not king from from OVW or whoever else I've been at. And I'm, you know, I'm not, you know, yeah, Isaac Yanko, DDS. Just, just call me Kane. Just call me Kane. Okay. Well, they had a they had a pretty another big show this week. I mean, overall, just with the rampage announcement for the United Center, uh, selling the tickets out. There's uh, CM Punk references during the show. What? I didn't hear that. There's, I mean, Tanahashi showing up, and and he's going to be there next week. Uh, we have uh, Nick Gage. We have Panes of Glass. We have Cash busting his arm open. I missed that. I did watch this week. I missed completely. Uh cash getting in there. but sounds like he's gonna be okay right yeah it, it was weird because i mean this was built up for a while this match and then it just like kind of ha- like end it with this like a like a sidewalk slam real very quick weird, very, very abrupt so i'm sure they'll, they'll build it into uh i think the storyline telling of it continuing but uh oh what up we had Co- um cody getting attacked back in uh he's just doing his his duties producing just, the show you know, just, just doing evp things right just doing That's evp it? things it's crazy yeah and then getting a little uh, tony Khan yeah. there for a second yeah um yeah, I, love, I love his cameo. Yeah. we just like you sounded uh, like the like, old you like there cameos, for a second like tony I talked over you. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, the old one. Yeah, you sounded oh, like a no, voice it's box. Okay. It's okay. Like the voice box came. Oh, no. See, I didn't catch that. Uh oh. That's not good. But no, yeah. Uh, uh, Malachi Black. That's what they're calling him now. Malachi Black. Uh, Pronounced beautifully there. With the sneak attack backstage. Thank you. Thank you very much. But. Yeah, no, I, I can't wait for that match. That's happening next week, right? Yep. Yeah, so um, I really like the uh, black and white thing that they got going on here with the suits. I like, I like the suits over. Everyone's got solid suits. Can oh. I use that term, over? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I want to ask you, Kane. Yeah. Cool. The beginning of the show, we had a huge, like, uh, space jam entrance and cowboys what did you think about this grand entrance to kick off the show all right so i like the dark orders entrance but i don't know if it's because the young bucks are so puny and i want to squash them or maybe it's omega and i want to squash them But, but I didn't like their entrance. Maybe I may I to see my things as fun. Um, I just so there's that's another thing. I don't. I didn't. What was the point? What was the point? Uh, I, I don't. I, I, it was I mean, good for us. Just, just Space Jam. Two riding on the. Oh no! I to- totally get it. Yeah, I totally get it. You know, cheap plug and everything. Who would ever plug a show? Like, it's everyone. I understand. It's just for me. If you, they're heels, right? They're heels. This is true. It's so like, I think if you're trying to get of the heel variety, you don't promote. A very popular movie that's going on right now, personally. That's me. But, I mean, you know, it was cute. It was fun. I like the jerseys. The Elite Squad, I thought that was a real good touch. But, yeah. But I feel I the I feel for Hangman, if anything. I feel for Hangman, you know. So let's get into this a little bit. What do you think 
now with the Dark Order can't get the uh, AEW tag team title shot and Hangman is not next up for a title shot. So what do you think they're going to be going with for All Out, Kenny Omega? Um, first off, if I were Hangman, I would ditch the Dark Order. It's clear that they, they cannot hold their weight and help out Hangman. I think that was the worst. Because now, now, who I think will uh, challenge Omega at All Out would probably be Christian. I'm going to say my old pal Christian. Yeah. Christian's going to challenge Omega all out. Omega wins. And then maybe we get a little face off with, uh, what's his name? Phil? Is that his name? I think that's how we end all out. Sorry. Hairs in my mouth and everything. I don't know how you, how you, so yeah, I know. You'd think I'd be used to it from years and years of having hair. Yeah. It's just more, yeah, out of control now, but beautiful again. Yeah, so it's, thank you, thank you. Very correct. Now, Darby Allen, another very uh, evil character. I don't know if you guys have like a little meeting of evil wrestling characters where you guys all show we up do, together. And do. He's, he's, he's a little, like, everyone, Sting's getting all the credit, but like, you know, come on, come on. No, nah, me, me and Darby, me and Darbs, me and Darbs are the way back. There's been a lot of... Uh, news recently about someone you named phil mr cm punk that's going to be making his way to aew and we heard a reference to the best in the world made by darby allen are you thinking this could potentially be uh the first feud or you think might this is a build-up where each week we're going to have maybe a different wrestler kind of make a reference to it and then it could leave it open to be anybody which is i think what they're doing here um, I'm sorry. I think we're going to get different, um, different episodes of different superstars teasing, like maybe a line. They did it a lot in the, um, in the episode of Dynamite between MJF's show closing promo. Yeah. Um, yeah, Darby Allen. I think they did something else. But, oh, somebody did the running knee into a bulldog move that Punk does. So they know what they're doing. They're doing subtle teases. I think that's it. I would love to see Punk and Darby Allen, though. I think it'd be a real good match. Um, so there's that. Um, I was getting a little distracted because some breaking news just popped up on my Twitter, and I won't get into it right now, but... By the time people watch the show, they'll they'll know it already. I don't know if you personally know it. I could be breaking it towards you, but um, we'll talk about it if we get to the uh, WWE side of the show. But we can talk about uh, talk about uh, AEW more. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, I have yeah. no. All my screens are blank in front of me. The only thing in front of me is you, Kane, and that beautiful. I just got lit up by like thirty. I, I got lit up by like five messages from friends and stuff. So it was like hard to. <laughs> it was hard to uh, <laughs> ignore. Oh, oh no. Yeah, I'm nervous. Yeah. Is Reginald okay? Yes. <sighs> okay. Where were we at? We were talking about CM Punk and teases and stuff. And te- yeah, so uh, I don't know. It seems like this. Uh... So, it, like, for you, it, there's like no, like, if you were like a, I don't, if you were on the fence about CM Punk coming to AEW, would this, kind of clear it up for you if you were on the fence i mean i'm sure you believe that it's true and everything but if yeah, you i feel like now you, who's like on the fence and you heard what they were doing wouldn't you think like okay he's definitely gonna be there at some point yeah you so you'll see a lot of people say like oh i, I won't believe it until i see it I don't exactly. know, but it's all i mean no good is going to come of this if you're teasing all this and then it's not a done deal so i think they're just using the buzz and the news of it being out there 
And I think they're doing a great job with it. Like I just said, I think it's going to con- like the MJF Darby. I think next week, the same thing. There's just going to be these little Easter eggs everywhere. It would be funny if they next week they did like Easter eggs for Daniel Bryan. You can start doing, you can go back and forth each week. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry, Brian Danielson. Sorry, Brian Danielson. You can start doing each week teases and stuff. I think it'd be pretty, uh, pretty funny. Just get good old like, buddy uh, there. You're gonna be very excited for that. Are you? Uh, are you proud um, of him for? A minute? I'm kind of. I'm kind of pissed at him a little bit because again, like we talk regularly, and uh, he didn't tell me. So, uh, you know that was that was a little hurtful. But uh, I'm very excited for him. Uh, he worked his way back to compete to doing what he loves. I was glad to have that final little run with him towards the end there. It was a but. Great uh, run. Thank you. Um, I'm very, inter- I'm more interested in seeing what they do with him than then what they do with CM Punk. And I'm biased, I'm biased, you know, tag champs and everything, I'm biased. But it's hard not to be excited to see what Daniel Bryan is going to be doing, not only in AEW, but in Japan as well. Because you know that's what he's going to be doing too. And a lot of more eyes on Japan with him as well more eyes like maybe like your average american wrestling fan who doesn't watch uh, new japan he's gonna go there now god god i love having you here with this insight i See, love it thank you thank you I love it it's better than that other jerk off yeah uh, <laughs> that's that's our clip right there from the episode that's gonna go everywhere kane's thoughts on daniel bryant potentially signing with aew wow look at that Really, I'm just trying to get the heat off me from the mask thing. That's all I'm trying to do. <laughs> uh, should we uh, should we hop over to the other side now? I want to know about I, I'm this. I'm more familiar. Uh, okay, yeah. So um, it's being uh, put on Twitter. And again, when you watch, when the audience watches this, they'll know already because it's blown up. Uh, Bray Wyatt has been released by the WWE. No. Yes. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Sure. Yep, I'm dead serious. John Ross Sapp has it. WWE posted it. Yep. Bray Wyatt, gone. <laughs> For real? For real, I swear to God. I swear on my dead mother, uh, my dead father, and the dead man brother gone i don't know how to feel about this <laughs> uh, all right all right so i don't mean to laugh it's that's a terrible thing but this is also a very very good thing too because they're not using him they're not he's obviously i mean he, a picture was just posted online. He looks to be in great shape and in great spirits yeah. too. Um, I don't. I just don't know how you can sit there and see all these releases happening in this company and not think something is being sold on their part, like company something. Like I just don't understand. I do not get it don't understand and maybe this can also open the doors for alexa bliss to ditch this dumb gimmick yeah because now all it just even with no fiend like i thought this would end all now we're just i don't know that's but hey they destroyed the bray wyatt character they um, like multiple times multiple times they destroyed the fiend character which was one i mean it was like one of the biggest things in wrestling was like 2019 um maybe around the fiend itself yeah yes yeah so like yeah. that was the build was yeah until he finally had the match with um finn balor another demon the Demon King, not Demon Kane, Demon King. So you're saying Seth used to scream that a lot. The ki- he's the king. He's the king. He's the king. He, this is he's not the Demon King. 
does not make sense. I'm, obviously. I'm the devil's favorite demon, but he's the demon king. The person whose house you're locked in yeah. loves Demon King. Oh, you shouldn't tell me that. Oh, you shouldn't. I like him too, though. I like the Demon King. It's just, you know, I don't think he's the Demon King. That's all. But, um, yeah, that's... I mean, like I'm saying, that's why I said immediately I don't know how to feel about it because I think it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing, but it never should have happened. Yeah. Never should have gotten to that point. Let them, let them, I mean, hey... And now I got I got to send that to uh, this dude's wife, and she's gonna be really upset. So there's that. She was very upset. You did really hard watching wrestling with her. She was very upset all week. That's still just a a bummer, though. Such a such a huge fan of his in general. So I'm very excited to see where. But it always just comes back to this. Like, are we going to see a different version of The Fiend somewhere else? Is it going to be the cliche, like, oh, the AEW, uh, or? All right, so you have to get him in AEW. You have to. I'm sorry. I think you do. Um, I don't see him in Impact. I don't see him in ROE. I don't see him in New Japan. I don't see him really anywhere else. It just, it doesn't fit. And he doesn't need to be i don't think you see the fiend i don't see think you see the fiend anymore because they had a really good character with bray wyatt like regular sitting in a rocking chair wyatt family bray wyatt um and this is kind of now this is like fancy booking to the earliest like this just happened he still got three months probably before you can even appear anywhere but like fucking you could have hangman like maybe dark order turns on hangman or something and bray wyatt can lead the dark order especially with the whole connection with brody lee and everything hey it's not a that's not a I'm, I I'm just saying i'm not i don't book the stuff you know i just wrestle it's a cult close to what that's what they could do to have a similar character to a bray wyatt if they wanted to he also could show up and do some kind of fiend like just almost how like um maybe like alistair half. black brought over basically what he was maybe half and half half fiend half bray yeah, like they wouldn't do I don't like at the sweater firefly funhouse, but I could see like some kind of reimagination of the fiend mask or something. And so, I don't know. It's interesting because both characters he had. We're not talking Husky Harris here, but I mean the Bray Wyatt and the Fiend characters are very you, you, don't 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 do that. Husky Harris is fine. All three characters were top grade A one beef. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. No, that's fine. So yeah, that's wow. Fine. All right. Was not expecting a. Nah, neither was I. I uh, literally threw me off my game when I got all that. So <laughs> it's definitely confirmed. Uh, crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. But also, um. They should probably let him go. Like, they shouldn't have to give him the whole 90-day compete clause because he hasn't competed in 90 days. Yeah. He's <laughs> you know? been... He has not competed in 90 days. But now his name's out there. He's going to trend on Twitter. So now since his name's out there, they don't want you I don't gaining under- any. I don't understand. Like, they, they let me become mayor of a whole county and, and still wrestle. So I don't understand. Like they they didn't put me on no ninety day compete. I don't understand. I wasn't released because I'm fucking awesome. But you know, you're king. Yeah, I'm king. Uh, I'm still winning championships, dude. Like, yeah, this is uh, this is unfortunate. This is unfortunate, but it's 
it's unfortunately good if that makes any sense i don't know I think I, that's the best way to say it phrase it actually unfortunately good i like that so there's that but yeah let's talk about this great company all right first things first i want to say something here what's the deal with these um championship contender matches oh you talk about the ones that involve the participants of an already announced championship match yes. yeah so it's obviously a clear rip off of the eliminator thing that AEW does um except they still some, somehow found a way to fuck it up uh you get a we had we had one this past monday and now you have a no holds barred one of the same two people next month and we had there was like three or four of them on monday oh yeah that's right there was a tag team one wasn't there there was a tag team one there was the united states championship one and i felt like there was maybe one more or no it was that that was the main i think there was three of them i it's they're they're it, they're dumb i'm sorry they're dumb they're dumb like they're the creative is dumb i and i don't like to use that word but they're dumb they're so so dumb i don't understand it they're they're not trying anymore they're literally not trying anymore to i he he got done work at 10 o'clock i'm watching this dude you're your partner he got done work at 10 o'clock and this guy fast forwarded the whole show basically fast forwarded the whole show because he seemed to all oh, already wasn't interested in drew mcintyre wasn't interested in the women he may have watched whatever riddle did this is so so bad that like it's good it, i don't i don't like they're not gonna learn they're not gonna change anything and i hate to go on a rant i really do it's a company I've worked for and watched for for a while, and I just want to see them do good. And right now they're not doing good. And with football coming back soon, they're not going to do – the the laziness is just going to continue and get worse. And you know they're going to lose ratings to football. You know that no one's going to watch Raw when there's Monday Night Football on. So they're not going to put anything on. That's how I look at it, at least. And the lack of creativity in that company. Mind-boggling. And I'd like to, I know everyone puts it down to like Vince McMahon and he's a final decision maker and everything. But I don't know if if that's true now i don't know like can this be just one guy is it really just one guy making this product bad because if that's the case then somebody should step in they have a board somebody should step in but this past monday was embarrassing embarrassing yeah to what did you think about nikki ash your raw women's champion losing and then saying uh yeah you beat me but i almost beat you now this like, is if baby. she would have like not said that i would have been like okay you're somebody you're a champion who's trying to prove that you're a good champion you just lost you want another shot at charlotte okay cool but don't tell that but i almost beat you i mean it doesn't make sense and you know really we could go back to like because it's not the it's not the only time that it's been done it's just the way that she put it was bad because you know you had Shawn michaels and the undertaker trying to build up to wrestlemania 26 and Shawn michaels said i'd made one mistake i made one mistake and it cost me so that's basically saying i almost beat the undertaker but like not in the same context as nikki ash did yeah, it was... didn't didn't really do anything for her. And then, like you said, announced for next week again. Now, and it's just, I felt like the Bobby Lashley Cedric Shelton. 
I felt like that I've seen that before for some reason. I don't know. I just had deja vu watching the whole thing. You know, they were in the hurt business together, right? That's That's when they, when they first broke up, I felt like that happened. Like, I don't know. It was consecutive weeks. Like he rushed, he beat Shelton, then he beat, but I don't know. It all just seemed like a, it, it, it kind of seemed, well, like with Bobby now, they're just going to throw shit together for him because Goldberg's only going to be there every other week twice right? during this build up. Yeah. yeah. He's there so this Monday. They're, they're not right. And nothing's going to happen. Um, so they're just going to throw, see what sticks with Bobby these next few weeks. Um, and the sad part is they're probably going to have Goldberg win. You think that came? Spoiler alert. I do think that. You don't think Big E's going to be creeping? I, I never said anything about Big E. I just said Goldberg was going to beat Bobby Lashley. That's what I said. Kane, stop it. Don't try to put words in my mouth. That's so, why would they keep doing this? Why would they keep doing this? Because Goldberg is a draw. Um, and as much as we hate to admit it, Dude's a draw. Everyone wants to see Goldberg. It just doesn't. I don't know. I like. I'm cool. I like seeing Goldberg on my screen, just not in a title match, in a title buildup, where he's not going to be there. It's the same thing with Brock Lesnar. He's a draw. The only difference is Brock Lesnar can go in the ring, and Goldberg cannot. Goldberg concusses himself. That's what Goldberg does. Goldberg almost drops people on their heads. That's what Goldberg does. I don't. I do not trust Goldberg to get Bobby Lashley up for a jackhammer. I do not. Yeah, he hasn't really had a good track record of his past few matches. No, no. And Bobby Lashley threw down a jackhammer today, or not today, Monday, and uh, that sucked. So I'm not sure if these two will really have great chemistry. I'm not really looking forward to it. I love hot Bobby. I mean, don't get me wrong, but. Oh, so do I. But I mean, I, I feel for him. You know, got Rhea. Got him. That happens. But this, again, it was just all so, so embarrassing. And it's just like, come on, man. Come on. How about, how about uh, Cross and Keith Lee? Two guys who I think shouldn't be in the ring with each other at all. Should be building up individual wins. Uh, they shouldn't be touching each other, right? No. And they shouldn't be touching each other. Jeff Hardy uh, had COVID, so he wasn't. But then it, there was also a report saying if Jeff Hardy was around, that he was going to be cross again to help tell the story they're telling. I don't know what kind of jackass story that is, because this company loves their champions losing all the time for some reason, except Roman. Just, and it's so odd to me that and there was something that was put out this week someone shared a Brock Lesnar quote where he that's what he he had a problem saying that they always this was back sometime where he they wanted him to lose as a champion he says like a champion like that's why they're the champion like if a champion loses like he's not the champion anymore it doesn't matter if it's a title match or a non-title match and I was like fuck yeah Brock I mean think of it right so think of it um, as much as they don't look at UFC as competition, they they do. And you don't see, I don't know, one of the UFC champions in the non-title fights, do you? No, it's always – that's the because thing. It's, it's a just title like... match. It's a ri- the risk is great if you get beaten in a non-title match because that dude should be the champion. Why should he have to beat you twice? I really don't think they should – exist i don't think matches should exist where you have to beat the champion to get a title shot that's why there's a number one contender people wrestle each other and then someone's a number one contender and then you get a match against the champion like i i it's i in all wrestling i don't think there should ever be a case where you have to like damian priest beat sheamus and now oh damian priest gets a title shot again. Like, no, Damian Priest should be the United States champion. Yeah. I don't know, man. These 
the championship I mean, contender matches and I blame AEW for this <laughs> because they do it so well and they WWE is probably just like oh, man all right they like seeing that so let's do that and then they fuck it up I mean I can't complain though because I got double doses of Reggie this week you technically got, I mean, triple doses if you call it the WWE.com preview. Uh, and I did. You told me about that. So I saw that. There's so much Reggie this week. Just Monday. A lot of Reggie going on. Fighting champion. Defending on Monday. Defending on Friday. Against, I got very, very nervous when... They made their way, and I was like, wait, who's he defending against? It? And I thought it was Otis, but was it Gable, right? Yes, it was Gable. Yeah, because well, if it was Otis, I was like, oh. No, yeah, yeah, so was I. I saw that, and I was like, no. But what is – what? why is there a, D, a DQ in a 24 24- – Seven time. Um, all right. So I said that too. I said that too. Um, I'm assuming, and here's what I just came up with this. I didn't read this anywhere. I just came up with this after thinking about it. And it's like, maybe. So the hardcore championship was under 24 7 rules, but it was already established that anything goes in the hardcore championship match. The 24 7 rule is literally just that a 24 7 rule now, or the championship rather, just. Just championship. Now, during a regular match for that title, the 24-7 rule is suspended. And so, it, since it's confined in the ring, ring it's and a- that rule is not, not uh, valid, then it's a regular championship match. But once that, that rule is lifted and everyone can go after them again, you can do whatever you want. That's called explaining shit. And that's what they don't do. But then I would just have a loophole, which they would have to fight then. Like, as soon as the match started, I would just hit whoever. If I would hit them with a chair, get DQ'd, drop the chair, and run away and do my flips. Yeah. You also, so they I say, mean, if you get think... disqualified, you lose the title. Boom, that's what you could do. I, I think the question really is, is why is, why is Otis causing a disqualification for his, for his mentor? That's that's what I mean. You're costing him a ton. Yeah, so, I mean, and also just as soon as the, I mean, try to grab that Reggie real quick and give him one of your like Vader bombs or whatever, and pin him and, and get the title. Yeah, I don't know. But is uh, is Otis like? Is he like? I don't know how you were with Otis, like if you were a fan or not, but uh, he's coming around to me a little bit. Oh, definitely from, I didn't really, I was not the biggest fan of the, like, comedic Otis like character, Like, Money in the Bank Otis Even is not for me. This with the Otis Money in the Bank, and, oh, yeah, and the main, I didn't, I wasn't a big fan of that storyline at all, so it, I do like seeing a little bit more, but it's just so weird seeing, like, they just, like, all of a sudden, like, Jason Jordan is Otis. <laughs> They're down is, that to like, what, is that what you think of? They look, it's like American Alpha plus size. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, another thing that we could lead into, which is that got me upset with explaining it, is the whole Finn Balor situation on SmackDown with they were going to have a contract signing. And then, I mean, let's step back first. Step back for a second. The opening of SmackDown, we had John Cena out there. And then my favorite, Baron Corbin comes out. And then I kind of was like, when I was like, okay with it. And then in my head, I was like, the only way this segment is ending is with Corbin getting an, an AA. And then I was like, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know if I want to see that happen. They're just back down to, but what were your thoughts on 
Byron coming out and trying to get some money, man. He he just he's down, he's down. John's rich. So I'll give you my thoughts on the opening segment and the opening segment only. Um Baron Corbin was right on all fronts here. John Cena is a sellout. Um, John Cena has way more than what looked to be a 50, maybe a hundred dollars. I was thinking him. the exact same thing. Um, there's no way he's not carrying any more than that. Uh, he could probably spend a hundred bucks in 30 minutes if he wanted to. Uh, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm a I'm very pro Baron Corbin in that situation. In that situation, I'm very pro Baron Corbin. And I'm very bitter at John Cena, not only for not rising above the hate or for rising above the hate, I should say, but also for the laws that he breaks in, in, in the company. I, 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 don't, I don't like him for that. I was very excited to see him back, but now I am not excited to see him back. So they tried to swerve us saying we're having this contract signing. And then we mentioned the whole Baron thing because we're about to have the, uh, the contract signing. And then all of a sudden Corbin comes out and just takes out Finn Balor. We're like, Okay what is happening here and then he grabbed the contract and then i start going like oh Did you my think, god it's a where, dream where, match yeah where was your excitement level here with this because i thought like i thought he was going to put pen to paper oh uh, that was funny um i've seen those guys wrestle like eighteen thousand times i feel but oh this is still, new though this is new i would have loved it still i thought it was funny i thought the crowd was like had this weird uh, energy to it during it but then we have cena come out and work his way in and literally write cena on it and it was proven later with paul Heyman backstage with adam pierce Sonya deville that it's it's binding and that's the main event of SummerSlam. and now where the where does finn balor lie in all this it was announced that he's going to have a match on smackdown next week against baron corbin but if i'm finn balor i'm either in that match or i'm gonna need to be restrained all the time i'm gonna give you your 10 minutes of your main event and then i'm coming out and i'm beating the living hell out of everybody and this match isn't gonna go off at all i mean i'm either in the match or like i was saying off air that I mean they would have to put him in the cage up top and keep him away from but that's just logic and that's not what is going to happen what do you think is going to happen with all that so I was told not to put my thoughts into this because I'm a WWE homer so he your boy sent me something and I'm just going to read off of that regarding this. That works. It's fucking stupid. It's fucking awful. It sucks. Doesn't make any sense. First off, literally, I've seen, I don't know what your signature looks like, but my signature is literally a bunch of scribbly lines. Like, I mean, there's maybe like two loops for, you know, the M or whatever. And then a B swoop, but everything else is like that's it. So whatever Finn, I saw, I saw the contract. There was a little bit of a squiggly line there. That could have been Finn's signature right there from the start. That's number one. Number two, um, I don't know about you, but when I sign contracts, I don't do it in marker. Number three, <clears throat> literally under, I'm pretty sure under where you sign the the, the name. It literally says Finn Balor. I thought I thought it said it could have said your name, but I'm pretty sure it said Finn Balor. Ah, uh, if Finn Balor's name isn't signed above Finn Balor, then how is that a binding contract? I don't understand why this even had to happen. 
why not just have Roman Reigns like a badass that you are portraying him to be, except John Cena's challenge, and put yourself in this corner? Doesn't make sense. <clears throat> are you trying to give the rub of Finn Balor? Like, hey, we know you're here and you're good and stuff. So we're all gonna, we're almost going to put you in the program, but we're not going to put you in the program. Yeah, it was kind of weird. Doesn't, it just it's stupid. It's very very stupid. And I would like to reference back to 2004, where we had a triple threat match for the world heavyweight title at WrestleMania 20. Shawn Michaels wasn't done with Triple H during that contract signing. Shawn Michaels super kicked. Crispin, wah, and he signed his contract. Also not binding. What happened at WrestleMania 20? You didn't have Triple H versus Shawn Michaels because that contract is ruined now. You had Triple H, Shawn Michaels, and Chris Benoit. At the very least in this situation, you should have a triple threat match at SummerSlam, at the very least, that is what should happen. But it's not going to happen. We're going to get a Baron Corbin Finn Balor rematch at SummerSlam, probably. And that's not fun. And it's not a good time. If you, you, they fucked up so many ways. Because now it's like, all right, if you're going to do Balor and Corbin, do it at SummerSlam. They probably are. Why? I feel like they, it'll continue. Yeah, right. They are, but I'm saying don't have it next week. Yeah, I think they'll do don't it where I think Balor week. wins every time, too. Like, I don't think Corbin gets – they're just going to make him – You can't say that. You can't say that. Like, you don't know. Like, you really don't. They could possibly – they could put – like, they should do that. To make him more they, sympathetic, just keep it's 50, losing. It's booking, though. It's 50-50 booking. It's but if he wins, day. he gets some money. But if he's not, he's already said this. If he keeps losing, he's not. And it's going to add more stains to the shirt. Like, that's what they should do. And, like, you're right. They may not do that. They could stick to the fit. But they should keep making him lose, add stains to the shirt, and just keep really going with it. But I really hope he grows his hair out. Really, really do. Like, like out, out, like, out out yeah i hope he doesn't touch like anything i yeah. hope he just keeps yeah just keeps going I'm, let's <laughs> let's ride this thing but no it was very stupid i'm very very upset with this and uh not 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 a fan of of what happened didn't need to happen should have just had roman reigns except john Cena's challenge in the first place uh stupid both both brands had uh on WWE side, Raw and SmackDown both like kind of like neglect the title challenge and have just yeah, been, they give the exact same thing. Which makes me think one of them's losing it. Makes me think that one of them's losing it. And I I think when it comes to Roman against Bobby, I think Bobby loses it before Roman. And if you're thinking it like that, if you would say which one would have to lose it, I don't think Cena's winning. No, Cena's not winning. He ain't gonna, he, he's going to be around for like one show after after SummerSlam. And, so, yeah, if, it, there was, if someone was going to lose, then it's – but I feel like if someone's going to lose, Money in the Bank's being involved in it, then it's going to be a, a quick transfer of power, I believe. Again, that is the only way I will be cool with Goldberg winning anything if Big E comes out immediately. Because I think if Goldberg does win, I think Vegas will shit on it completely. But that's how you do it. And hopefully they have Big E like right at the gorilla position just in case that scenario happens. And it's like, all right, take it off. Go. And then I think that's huge. And then it builds like Goldberg's gone then. And then it builds up. You have the feud now with him and Lashley because yeah. Lashley. Never lost a title to him, and yeah, I think that's that, that's what you do. And I could see, I could see it leading that way. Um, there we, we go had, again. Jabroni's book it. It happens. We had uh, a return last night. We had Sasha Banks. 
We had the the hug, a little awkward hug between the two. Set up a tag match of Carmella and Zelina versus Bianca and Sasha. They win the match, and I don't know. I I just just from watching so much, I just could tell this was coming. I was gonna say if anybody didn't know that there was a turn coming from Sasha Banks. You know, you got to pay more attention to the product, kid. That's a because that seems like the other that's another match there. Yeah, absolutely. Rematch from WrestleMania. Absolutely. They never had it at ba- WrestleMania Backlash. No, they didn't. So, so I mean, we got to yeah. bring WrestleMania Backlash. Where's to Sasha Summer been? Has she been filming The Mandalorian? I don't know if that was, I know she was gone. I don't, I heard, I, I don't know if you told me that or maybe. If, I mean, I'm, I, I'm like, guessing i don't know anything i don't even uh it's possible but she's back and i'm it's looking like we're getting bianca sasha i'm okay with them all right so like i'm okay with that rematch their their matchup mania was really good and you know i'm i'm, I'm okay with it being on the next biggest pay-per-view of the year so like i'm fine with that having a whole pay-per-view dedicated to rematches i'm not fine that's that's where that line gets drawn. I don't want to see Balor and Corbin on SmackDown and at SummerSlam, but the last time I saw Sasha and uh, Bianca was at WrestleMania, so I'm cool with that. That's in case any of you marks are all like, oh, but he's just contradicting. No, no. We also had the the continuing build of Seth and Edge, where I mean during a commercial break. We came back and then they showed us that Seth came out, attacked Edge with a camera. It's also something that Edge did way back to your brother, The Undertaker. So it was, um, I think that might have happened in 04. So bringing it full circle. But why, 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 why bring it up? Why, 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 what are you doing? We were having a good time. We I just saw it tweeted time. by Seth. That's all. We were having a good time. Well, Seth is a prick. I mentioned that two weeks ago. Seth is a prick. I don't like him. Scout Edge, Uh, they're building towards their match at SummerSlam, which is going to be fantastic. He said, hey, if I'm not... Edge is is kind of a prick, too. I'm sorry, go on. No, No, he was just saying that if if he can't be Universal Champ, either could Edge. So, that's continuing on. We have... Apollo Crews like losing like all the time. As he's I like see. the worst Intercontinental Champion. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Really it, goes, it just goes back to like what we were saying earlier. Like Apollo Crews now should not be the Intercontinental Champion because he was just pinned. You know, I don't. So like, whatever, whatever. And he's still WWE's WWE. gonna WWE. You know what I'm saying? Like this is gonna, like it's gonna do the thing. I mean, there were some good promos. Seen had a good oh. promo. Reigns had a good little promo. Yeah, with that mid- I, I love how we're uh, we're incorporating sex in the main Universal title uh, storyline with the missionary position and stuff. Really, really good stuff. They I, love. Using I also it. don't know why they even waste. Yeah, I don't know why they waste their time using it though, because WWE is just going to cut it off of their YouTube channel. So I was going to say, so. like, they do that and they cut it out. It's like, I don't know. They must, I wonder if they go off script for that. It's funny. It's entertaining. They, they're good with the... They, I thought all, all the promo stuff was good. I, I just... Uh, I don't know, man. They did, they did Finn dirty. Just came back, and they're doing them dirty. Like, if they want to get rid of... It's like one of the big criticisms that he had last time he was up on the main roster was that he was too smiley he like he smiled a lot and he was all like oh i'm finn balor and i'm smiling and shit he should be as you said interfering in every match interfering in every segment to get his point across like he should not take this he should not like go into smackdown and be like i got baron corbin cool getting payback for last week cool no you shouldn't be cool with that like and especially because he's beaten roman before he probably thinks he has his number or something and he's missing out on this opportunity 
John Cena's never beaten Finn. Or not Finn, uh, Roman. John Cena's never beaten Roman. Finn has. That's an argument right there. That's an argument. I'm pissed. <laughs> Sorry, King. Bray um, Wyatt, unemployed. Yeah. The company I hold near and dear to my heart. Not making any goddamn sense. Yeah, I need to... I, I, I'll wait till social after I get off of here, but uh, I don't know if you have one prepared. Usually we do jabroni of the week here. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do you have one. Mike informed you about this. This is glorious. Yes. Yes, I do. Well, I mean, I had Undertaker two weeks ago. So, so uh, yeah, I, that is true. I forgot yeah. about that. I mean, sorry. He, he ain't getting away with burning my face. I don't think so. And also, I have to say, usually underneath your, uh, your video here, we we still have uh, Mike's info there, but that's I'm, fine. Nobody wants to follow at Glenn Jacobs right now because uh, you know, masks. I just look. I'm the only one that can wear a mask. Okay, all right. Is that's, that why you don't? That's why. That's why. That's why. Okay, I'm the only one. I'm the only one. All right. It's been said. So you're you're not listening to any of this. You want to be the only one. Yes. In Knox and, County with a look, mask. And, and and the mask doesn't even cover up the essential part of what it needs to cover up to protect us. So, like, you know, it's like the same thing that we're doing. If you want to wear this kind of mask, fine. But, like, I'm not forcing you to wear a mask. But, like, I'm the only one that can. So, all right? Okay. Chill. There it is. They were almost, the, the whole county of Knox County was almost my jabroni of the week, to be honest. Um, do you want me to go with mine? Yeah, you, you can go? go. I guess you can go. Sure. I'm in a I, good mood. So. I mind pulled up here. Um, pretty simple for me. You come after Reginald, and I mean, it's going to be a problem, obviously. And especially when the person who did it, the artist formerly known as Sinkara, had some words to say about one of my favorites, Reggie. Good old Reginald, call me Reggie, though. And it goes on because he did the little entrance where there's a little little trampoline set up there and flips over the ropes, something that Sinkara did. And he's botched before. I mean, he's botched many things before. And I mean, there was like 17 different Sinkaras, whatever. One of these Sinkaras, one of them. I don't know which one but said two very cool entrances let's see if he can do it without an acl and wearing a mask with terrible lighting angry emoji face oh one more thing keep doing it for a decade on all live events and television all the best smiley face emoji hashtag sin car reggie responds well seeing that i was doing this in the circus for 16 years before I came to WWE, it would be, it should be fine. And then he said, in the circus, eight to 10 shows a week. Burn. And then he, uh, what he could come back with, mm. Sin Cara was awesome. Now it's time to become a real professional wrestler. So Sin Cara, <sighs> you bitter little bitch i mean i'm gonna give it to you um what was that one pay-per-view where he did that whatever del soul off the ladder on one of the usos probably money in the bank um yeah. maybe tlc 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 yeah I, it was december yeah it was definitely tlc he did the whatever del soul and did it to one of the usos through the ladder and it was awesome and I think he was the one that did it. It could have been some other masked guy in the Lucha House Party. It wasn't even Lucha House Party. Who gives a fuck? That was cool. If it was him, hell yeah. But besides that, what are you doing here? This is, what is this, sour grapes? Just just hating on Reggie because he does it a lot better than you. Um, maybe they give him a more flattering camera angle, but... I don't know. It's day and night. It's day and night. And for you to be picking a, a little, picking apart this on, on I think, 
Instagram. It's very funny, very pathetic. Sin Cara, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whoever you are, jabroni of the week. Oh, God. Um, was it, didn't uh, Sin Cara use a trampoline for all of his entrances? I think so. I think Reggie has to. I think he, they have one set up does, too. For does, him. does Reggie use it? I think there's one like those little, I they think they, they used to not hide it as well with Sin Cara or whatever. With, the way they do with like Reggie, I feel like it's definitely there, but he's, it's. You mean he's not really like jumping from floor to. Well, you do see him doing. I that. thought he was actually doing it because of the circuit. Du Soleil thing. Those guys are crazy. He did it last night. They just like, literally flipped out of the ring getting chased. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like he could do that without a trampoline. I don't know if he can get up that high. He we'll is Reginald. We'll, 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 we'll tweet him. We'll tweet him. We'll figure it out. We'll tweet him. I, thought, yeah, I should nothing but support to that guy on uh, Twitter. So yeah, no. He knows yeah, we're should, big he fans. Back to us. He should get back to us. Big fans. Yeah. So... Um, yeah, like I said, it was going to be all of uh, Knox County for being, you know, getting their panties in a bunch, but, you know, I love my people. Um, but yeah, man, after recent events and like very recent events, I don't know if we've ever done this before, but, uh, have, have we put the entire creative team for the WWE on the jabroni list? Because I feel like maybe we've, we've put Vince on but for the entire creative team I don't think we have so I'm gonna call it um creative WWE creative you guys need to start being more creative nice yeah yeah I wrote that one down (laughs) uh seriously myself well not me Toph and his partner they have booked your show more creatively in many instances to the point where we once believed that you were actually watching our show. And now after last week, who knows who is watching our show? Hello, new viewers. Um, you guys have all the minds. You have 20, 25 people in a room. Get together. There should no be no reason. Somebody... When they raise their hand and be like, hey, let's have Finn and Roman do a contract signing. Or, hey, let's have Roman reject John. And then he has to be – someone should shoot that guy in the face immediately and just be like, no, we're going to do Roman accepting John's challenge. That's it. Somebody should be like, yo, Vince, let's get Goldberg to challenge Bobby. Someone should shoot that guy in the face, even if it's Vince himself. Shoot him in the face, all right? Nobody wants to see Goldberg in his 30th title match in three years or whatever, how long he's been. I don't know. It's a sar- it's sarcasm, guys, all right? Relax. I'm just saying. Nobody wants to see it. WWE Creative, you have literally... And again, this could also be on Vince, so um, he's kind of in here too. L- nothing good for somebody of Bray Wyatt's talent. You have done nothing for this man. He's had, what, like three, four characters in this company alone, and each one of them failed. And it's not because of the performer. It's not. Because you have the same gimmick on yet another great performer right now. And it, it's just not working with her. Like, it's not. So before you ruin another talent, get that shit off of her. But for now, you can get the fuck off my stage. Sorry, wrong show. Uh, you are Jabroni of the Week. WWE Creative. Fantastic. It was a fantastic rant. I love it. I was nervous. I was nervous. First, first real rant. Well, it was needed. It was obviously yeah. needed. No, it was. It was. It was. Now, before we get out of here, you guys can follow the show, the Jabronis, on Twitter at Jabronis Pod. 
You can find all things at bodyslam.net. All the episodes are there. We have uh, I'm gonna also have Spotify, all the iTunes, all those podcast apps. You search the Jabronis, you find us, you rate, review, all that stuff. I want to mention we have our merch store, which is in the link. You can click on it. We got one right here. With the, we got the Rec Jabronis and Leave. That's available. We got the Right Hand Jabroni, Nobody's Jabroni. We have just the logo. We got the shirts. We got the hoodies. We got the, the pants. We got it all. So go check out the merch store. Give that a look. Um, you can follow me at Jabroni McCann on Twitter. And you can look for on uh, Tuesdays. I usually have the Monday Night Jabronis is where I do a little fun review of a fun short review of Monday Night Raw. So look for that on Tuesdays over at bodyslam.net. Kane, take it away. So you can find, I'm not going to plug me because again, hate uh, the heat is unreal right now. Uh, and I live in hell. So um, pretty crazy. So I'll just plug his stuff. You can follow him at Jabroni Butler on Twitter. He also does the Untitled Wrestling Network on YouTube. However, he did change the name to just Mike Butler, so you might just might just search that on YouTube and follow that page. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all he's got. Pretty sure that's all he's got. But yeah, and then you know, what's up, me? <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure, Kane, having you on. Uh, do you think you will be back? next week are you taking like a goldberg week off well yeah like so so he's he's actually he he his first day of vacation from his job is uh today actually so he's he we swapped he's in knox county taking the heat i'm here doing this and sleeping with his wife and everything so this is that's yes that's i've I'm, I'm i'm a dad now too so uh, I have a lot of bread in the basket. Uh, so, yeah, we swapped for the week. All right. So, so I'll, be, I'll be here. I'll be here. All right. So we'll be back next week. We are slowly leading towards another defense of that Jabroni World Championship. I'm going to try to, try, to come, try to come back for it. Oh, how I miss it. Oh, how I miss it. So... Look for us during the week. Also want to announce real quick that we will be at SmackDown in September. We will be out on the parking lot. We're going to be looking for you guys. So if you guys will be going to SmackDown in Philadelphia in September, might be the 24th, to look for us out there. We'll be walking around and we'll be over the parking lot. As soon as it opens, we'll be out there walking around. So come say hello. We're going to be recording content, so look for that. And I guess that's that's about it. Until next week, Jabronis out.